Hello everyone, I'm Ryan. Hi, I'm JD. And the purpose we created this video is to discuss in depth about the options for HDB upgraders. So many HDB upgraders will usually consider EC as well as condo. This is very common. And I will say many will actually skip EC due to several reasons like number one, lesser loan. Number two, the resale levy that is payable. And number three, the longer holding period they will then shift their focus into a private condo instead. Of course, it depends on individual situation and intention. In the next video, we will actually cover the differences between EC and condo. Today, our main focus will be why EC is always the preferred choice for many HDB upgraders. For HDB upgraders, the beauty of EC is that you can stay in your current HDB while waiting for your new EC to be completed. Meaning you can stay for the next 3 to 5 years without incurring any ABSD and sell only when you got the key for the EC. In this situation, you will only need to move once. Convenient, huh? And why is that so? This is because for EC, there is two types of payment scheme. The first one is normal payment scheme. For the second one is the deferred payment scheme. First, for the normal payment scheme, potential buyers will need to prepare 25% for the down payment, which is inclusive of 5% cash, and the rest is payable in CPF or cash. On the other hand, for deferred payment scheme, 20% is required for the down payment and the balance of 5% will be deferred and called upon the EC reach completion. So how will this impact the HDB upgraders? While most of the CPF monies are locked in the owner's HDB, the deferred payment scheme provides them the flexibility to sell away their HDB closer to the EC completion date. They can then use this chance to unlock their funds from the HDB and pay off the balance 5% of the down payment without touching their cash savings. There's also no need for upgraders to service two housing loans at the same time. However, not all HDB upgraders are suitable for this deferred payment scheme. For some situation, potential buyers that selected the deferred payment scheme may end up paying more cash upfront or in worst case scenario, forfeiting of units due to the defaulting of payment. Why is that so? This is because the bank is unable to loan up to a desired percentage for owner to finance the EC or the flag is currently in a negative sales position or buyer have restriction on CPF usage due to CPF earmark policy which regulate by the MAS. This is why we always encourage you to engage a professional agent to do an assessment before you proceed with any EC. So my personal opinion for HDB upgraders is if you are someone who don't like the trouble of shifting houses a few times, the EC Deferred Payment Scheme is a good option. Most EC owners enjoy the capital appreciation of being the first owner. So if you are able to plan your upgrade properly, you will enjoy the conveniences and profits at the same time. Definitely in terms of location, it may not suit everyone. So for the potential upgraders, it's also about accepting the location of where the ECs are at. If you'd like to find out more, please click on the link below on this video to register, where I will do a one-to-one -one sharing session with you. As one-to-one -one is more exclusive, so we can customize the planning based on your needs and situation. Seats will only be limited for those who sign up, and I hope to see you soon. Bye!